Hi everybody, Mr. Lowndes here. I hope you guys are enjoying your home learning with CESA and your classroom teachers. Today we have another lesson for you. This time we're going to be focusing on health and nutrition. In particular, how to make a healthy breakfast. Now there's a couple of things that you guys will need before you get started. One is to consider safety when cooking at home. You must be cooking with a responsible adult, a parent or guardian at home. Our recipe for this week is we're going to be making a tomato and spinach omelette. Now, it's okay if you guys don't have tomato and spinach at home. You might like to use mushrooms or capsicum or anything you might have in your fridge or pantry to pop into your omelette. We're going to have a quick look at the utensils and equipment before we get started so you guys are ready to get cooking. What we'll need today is we have two eggs, a little bit of olive oil, some spinach and some cherry tomatoes. You'll also need a spatula, a fry pan, and a fork to whisk the egg. Alright guys, step one is we're going to get our eggs whisked. So, what we need to do is use a bowl, and we get our eggs, we can just crack on the side of the bowl, split them. This is a great skill to learn at home. If you need a bit of help from mum, dad, or your caregiver at home, that's okay. I'll split the other one inside too. And then this is the fun part that you guys might like to try. You can hold one hand on the bowl and with your fork and you start whisking. You want to keep going until you've mixed the egg and the whites. And it should look something like that. Alright guys, now that your eggs are whisked, we need to get our fry pan on. So this is the important part about being safe when cooking. So your responsible adult, parent or caregiver can help you guys get your fry pan ready. Just needs to be on a low heat for your omelette. We're just going to let that warm up for about a minute and then we'll get started on our next step. Alright guys, now our fry pan is nice and warm. We're just going to put a little bit of oil and then swirl our pan around. This just helps the egg from sticking. All right, once our oil is in, it is time to get our eggs in the pan. So what we need to do is we'll just take our fork out for now, and then we can just pour our mixture into the pan. And give it a little move around so that the eggs are gonna take up the whole bottom. From here we want our eggs to set a little bit before we put our spinach and tomato in. So what we are looking for is the whites are going to go extra white and our yolks are going to start to cook through a little bit. It will take roughly about 30 seconds to 1 minute depending on how hot you have your pan. Alright, now you guys are going to see in a moment what the egg looks like. So it's starting to cook around the outsides in the middle to turn a bit of a clearer white and our yolks are starting to cook through, so we need to put in our spinach and tomatoes. The first thing we're going to do is take our cherry tomatoes and pop them on one side. And then we can add our spinach onto one side too. We're leaving half so that we can flip our omelette over and make it enclosed. From here, what we're going to start to do now is get our spatula and we can just shake the edge of our omelette just to make sure it's not sticking. It should be just coming off the bottom as it's hardened up on the flip side. Now that our spinach and tomato has been in the pan for about 20 to 30 seconds, it's started to wilt down. So what you guys are going to see now is I'm going to safely and carefully flip the half of the egg that doesn't have any filling on top to close on top of the spinach. As you can see when I turn it around, the top of the egg is nice and crispy and we've closed in the spinach. This will make it wilt down 
and be delicious. Our omelette is now cooked, so it's time to carefully take it out of the pan. This is where mum or dad or whoever's looking after you at home will help you for this part. We can turn the heat off the pan now. We take our spatula and we carefully pick up our omelette and we can slide it onto our plate. It is now ready for you guys to enjoy. Just to finish off the video, your task for this week is going to depend on what stage you are in. So please keep an eye out on the worksheets that are sent to you from your teacher. Have a great, great week of learning. We can't wait to see some photos of your cooking at home. Bye everybody.